Hey guys, it's me Winifred and welcome to our first NARS Tuesday. And the funny thing is, is that I had all of these like orangey colors out that I was going to mess with today and um, just do a whole orangey look. And then I thought, wait a minute, it's <laughs> St. Patty's Day, so maybe I should do Blot Orange, this is Exhibit A, and I bought this last year, and I, you know, don't play with it as much. So I was going to play with that for NARS Tuesday, but then I thought to myself, wait a minute, it's St. Patty's Day, so I needed to do something green, a little subdued green, and then later on we're going to bring in a little green lip. Of course, that's not NARS. NARS doesn't do green lips. It's OCC Lips Tar. Because we know that on St. Patty's Day, some people want to do it all up. They'll have the green nails and green lips and green face and all kind of things. We're not going to go that far. But I did do my version of a uh, subdued um, green eye with um, NARS's Malacca. And this is a relatively new shade to NARS. And I used um, Snake Eyes. It's a really pretty frosty. You can use this on its own. Um, NARS' version of a paint pot. And if any of you have tried any of their other paints, let me know because this is the only one that I have. And these bad boys, when they dry, they set. That's it. You're not blending nothing. So I've already primed my eye with uh, my Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Ageless. Then I'm going to go ahead and I did, I also carved out my eyebrow guys with my NW35 concealer, matte concealer. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with these two colors. This one is Blondie and this one is either Sophia or Bengali. Bengali they still sell, Sophia they do not. Um, but at any rate, this is kind of like a mid-tone, a little on the deeper side brown with a little bit of red in it. It's definitely a warmer brown. It's not a cool brown. So what I'm going to do is, guys, <clears throat> if you're around my shade, remember I am um, Lancome's 460 Suede, uh, Becca's Ultimate Coverage, I'm Tobacco. This blondie shade right here makes an excellent transition shade. Matter of fact, I'm going to venture to say out of all of NARS's um, colors, I think that that makes probably the best transition shade. I'm going to dip into that blondie and I am going to lay down that transition shade right above oh, I feel like I gotta sneeze guys <sighs> Ooh, excuse me right above my crease and yeah see how that see that color it's a little bit deeper than my own skin tone but guys it's it's a really nice I think transition shade it's not too warm it's not too um cool it's just just right again that's blondie and then after that what I'm gonna do is dip into this snake eyes and this is truly pretty and I'm gonna use the Mac uh, oh is this 185 or 195 brush it's got a little point and I like this one and I think I meant mentioned it before is I like this one because if you want to take that paint pot all around your eye because of that point you could like do a nice little line with it too so I am just laying this on the mobile lid a little bit above the crease not much and like I said guys you've got to work with this kind of quick because it does it does um, set really quick and 
It's such a pretty shade. Look at that. You can almost wear that on its own. It's a nice sparkly color. It kind of, I don't want to say, well, it does. It kind of reminds me of uh, their Night series, if you will. And the Night series, uh, the Night Breed, Night Porter, um, all of those dark, shimmery colors that uh, NARS came out with like years ago. And everybody was raving about and I'm going to take a little bit of it, yeah, guys, with this pointed part of this um, brush and go up under my lower lash line just a little bit. I don't need that much of it. See that? That's a pretty color. And then go on ahead just to blend those edges out. Although, you know, that's probably not going to help that much, guys, because... It's probably already set. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is dip into this deeper brown right here. I want to make this eye like really, not real, real doubly smoky, but smoky enough. And I'm going to take that crease brush, the Real Techniques one, and just kind of go into the crease with this brown. And it's kind of like a graduation, guys, from that blondie to the darker brown, then finally to that green. But we're also going to add a little bit of black on there. I like this. Okay. See how you just smoke that out and got something that looks like that. Then, guys, I am going to... And I know I'm going to butcher this because I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's the Dimension Eyeshadow. And this is a Psychorax, something like that. It's the black one, guys. It's the only black shade in this um, Dimension Shadow that they make. I'm going to get a exact crease brush and I am just going to lay this down. I have been trying to figure out how I'm going to use this color and it just blends out really nice. I want to stick with the NARS theme. I didn't want to use carbon. I wanted to use a black. So here we go. And I'm just going to deepen up that outer V a little bit and carry it a little bit into the crease. Not much. But really deepen up that deepen up that outer V. Then I am going to take the 217 guys and just blend that. And that just gives it a little more dimension at the corner. Deepens it up a little bit. A little bit more at the corner. And it's really pretty. I wish you could really see that sparkle effect from both the Malacca and the Snake Eyes. It's really kind of pretty. And take that black a little bit up into the crease, not much. You have something that looks like that. Then guys, you know I'm going to take my Perversion. Let me sharpen it a little bit. And go around the eye to tight line a little bit then I'm gonna go back in with that NARS black shadow and um, smoke up the line a little bit and there you go I like to um Especially when I do a smoky eye, I really like to have a really, really dark liner in the rim. My tight line, I like to be dark. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is just take like a either a really pointed crease brush or a pencil brush. Dip back into this, this black again, guys. 
I remember thinking that that black was going to be like a um a metallic or hoping it was going to be metallic to my surprise it was not but it's it still it has its uses guys I'm kind of liking this with a smoky eye and I'm hoping that it does show and it really helps with the liner to smoke it out without being too much you know what I mean I didn't want to use um, Makeup Geeks Corrupt because I thought that that might be just a little bit too much, too dark. And so then, there you go guys. That is the smoky eye. Now, I'm leaving my brow bone kind of bare. Um, just with the, uh, the concealer and that's it none of not an eyeshadow I didn't want to take an eyeshadow and mess it up I just just kind of bare flesh tone I guess is kind of what I wanted to say but that's pretty much it so I'm gonna pop this eyelash on come back and tell you what I got on the rest of my face then we're gonna play in the lips a little bit okay guys we're back um I popped on my eyelash and so let's just discuss go over what I have on my face uh, you know I've got on the um, snake eyes that's my uh, base for my mobile lid it's really pretty you can actually use this on its own you can also use it to line your eye and then on top of that I have this pretty shimmery green it's Malacca one of the uh, the newer um, NARS eyeshadows. I want to say this came out in 2014. And then, you know I have on that the pretty black shade, my outer V, and feathered a little bit into my crease. Very, very lightly, guys. I didn't want to detract away from that because we're doing our... Um, lips green so I didn't want <laughs> to make my eyes all kind of crazy going up to the eyebrow dark then for my cheeks guys I used NARS Torrid if you've ever used any of NARS's um, blushes you'll know that they're very pigmented so I use this dual fiber brush to apply it because you don't really need that much and I think that if I would have used um, a regular blush brush I think it would have applied it a little bit too heavy or heavier than I want then I also want to jump out of my realm and use two highlighters that well I used to use the Lorac Tantalizer quite a bit and um, I've gone off of it for a while it's really pretty but I mixed it with uh, the buxom which is really kind of deep it's got a little shimmer so I mixed the two together on its own it's too dark for um, a highlighter for me uh, but for some of my deeper tone beauties this would be a beautiful highlighter um, for you but I mix these two to come up with the highlight now you all know I do not like a very bright highlight instead of like kind of like a healthy glow so that's what I have on today keep in mind that this is kind of like my natural contour line even though I do a little contour this is natural contour line but I did highlight a little bit and I just prefer kind of like a glow as opposed to uh, a very stark highlight. And then for my lips, I used to really use this quite a bit, guys. And I've gone off of it for a while. This is probably like my second or third too, but it's called Promiscuous. And it's not a matte. And it's actually kind of sheer. And this makes a beautiful nude for 
um, a steeper tone uh, women. This makes a beautiful nude and I don't use it as much now but it is a pretty color nonetheless and this is a sheer color so um, it's really pretty. Then here's another thing that sometimes I do if I want more of a opaque color. This is Belle, Belle Du Jour and it's a little light but I love to mix this with deeper tones to come up with another, I don't want to say another color, but to give me more of an opaque look. And that's Belle Du Jour. And guys, I use that so much so that I just wanted to show you that here it is right here. Gone. So this will definitely be in my empties. But I have another one that I use. And this also, depending upon what kind of um, lip liner you put on, this also makes a nice uh, nude too. Makes a nice lip. Guys, and you can also probably mix it with the Promiscuous or the Pago Pago which is another pretty uh, nude. There you go. All three of those are good options for uh, women of color or if your skin is a deeper skin tone. They all are pretty. And um, I think that that is probably it. As far as what I have on my face, I used my Becca today as opposed to my Lancome. I used the Becca foundation today. And that is it. Um, I use these two. And I can't stress enough how much I like the Blondie as a transition shade. If you are of a deeper skin tone, this Blondie is really, really pretty. And this is a pretty brown too. It's a pretty warm, medium, mid-tone brown. That's pretty too for a crease color. Um, so, yeah, having said all of that, guys, I now think it's time to play. Now, I have not tried this, but... I think I got a pretty decent base on. This is Tarnish, Max Tarnish. I love this. I have been wearing this for years as an eyeliner. That is the prettiest green eyeliner I have come across, guys. If you are looking for a deep green liner and it has a little bit of frost to it, try um, Max Tarnish. It is so pretty. I've been using it for years and I've repurchased it. I don't know how many times and as long as they are selling it I will be purchasing repurchasing it um, and I used to wear it to work too guys I am going to try a couple of lip color lip green lip colors I am going to use this tarnish though as a lip liner and What are you all doing for St. Patty's Day? I know when I worked in retail, as a, a you all know, as a store manager, man, they would come in looking for green nail polish, green face paint, just all about the green. This is Lip Tars. I think this is chlorophyll. Yeah, chlorophyll. So obviously this is a green. It's uh this green is lighter than the lip liner. So and this would be something fun to wear if you are going out. Well, you don't necessarily just have to do it for St. Patty's Day. You can wear it any time of year you want to. Ah, 
but I just thought it would be fun. Huh. For St. Patty's Day. You know everybody's going to be wild tomorrow. You can see why I didn't want to go crazy with the lip liner. I mean the lip liner. The eyeshadow. It looked like a straight up clown. And then this is chlorophyll on its own. Hmm. Now this is I think the deepest green I have. And then this one is kind of like a mintier green. And then this one is like a goldeny green. Let's try this one mixed with it. That might be something. Let's see, I might have to, you know how they separate? I might have to uh, shake it up a little bit or not shake it, but squeeze it to try to mix it a little bit. a little bit of that it's like a goldeny green if you will now let's see what these two will look like mixed I kind of like that I mean I am so sure that we will see plenty of this tomorrow. Whether you're in the bars or wherever you are, parade, we will see plenty of this. Hmm. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm going to pop on my wig. I haven't worn that in a while. I'm going to pop on this wig. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I like this more of a vibrant look with a, um, a dark hair. Oh, this looks so strange, y'all, without any hair. You know, your, your wigs fit a little differently. And then I don't have a cap on. So, there we go. And this is... This is my St. Patty's Day look, guys. Tell me what you think. This, I think, is... Parade worthy. <laughs> Parade worthy, uh, party worthy. You know, sometimes At when least, uh, I used to allow it, uh, my crew for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, St. Patty's Day, you know, usually you're a little bit more conservative for work, but I used to allow everybody to get a little funky sometimes. You know, you can wear your green, uh, lipstick to work you could wear your green eyeshadow to work so you know if you have a uh, job that permits that then you know this could be the perfect look for you um, or if you're not going to work and you're just going to hang out at the parade or go to the bars or whatever then you know this is definitely a look for you for St. Patty's Day um, yeah Either the lighter lip or the darker lip. Which one would you wear for St. Patty's Day? If you had to wear a green lip or if you were going to wear a green lip, would you wear the darker lip or would you wear this lighter lip? Let me know. Comment below. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow for Wild Card Wednesday. Okay, guys. Talk to you. Bye-bye. And happy St. Patty's Day.